Hi, today we're going to do lesson 6-4, starts on page 371 of your math book, and we're continuing to work with our graphing. So on page 371, it starts with, at the park, Susan sees 13 animals in all. Nine are birds. The rest are rabbits. How can Susan complete the table to show this? Show your work. Well, we know the nine birds. We know how many are total, 13. So that number could come up here to the top. How many are rabbits? How many more do we need to make that 13? So we start with nine, and I'm just gonna draw in a tally mark. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many rabbits do we need? One, two, three, four. All right, now you could have drawn actual pictures of rabbits, but the tally marks are much faster. All right, on page 372, up at the top, it says Abby asks 15 students if they like broccoli or carrots better. Six choose broccoli, the rest choose carrots. How many chose carrots? Well, we're going to use our tally chart to find out how many. So here's the six from the broccoli, and then we have to keep counting till we get to the 15. So here we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So they kept making tally marks in the carrot section until they got to that total number of 15. So six chose broccoli. I can count up to 15 to find how many chose carrots. Nine chose carrots. You can also do a subtraction problem saying 15 minus the six Car uh, broccoli votes will tell me how many carrots. 15 take away 6 is 9. How many more students chose carrots than broccoli? Write an equation to compare. So we had 6 and we had 9. So we take our biggest number, take away the smallest number, and that gives us how many extras there are. 3. All right, let's do number 1 together. Draw the missing symbols in the picture graph, then use the graph to solve the problem. Jim asks nine members of his family for their favorite fruit. Six people say they like oranges. The rest say they like apples. How many people say they like apples? So nine is our biggest number. We know six. So now we're going to start at six and count up to nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So how many people liked apples? One, two, three. Three. So now when we put the six and the three together, we'll have a total of nine. All right. If you would like, you can go ahead and do numbers two and three on your own and then come back and check, or you can do them with me. It says use the graphs to answer the questions. Fill in the missing data. Number two, a shelf at a store holds 11 stuffed animals. There are five stuffed bears and the rest are stuffed penguins. How many stuffed penguins are on the shelf? So again, how many are total? 11. So I need to get up to 11. Right now I have five, so I'm gonna start from five and count on. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So once I get up to 11, now I can see how many penguins were there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six stuffed penguins. All right. Go ahead and do three on your own if you've been working with me. If not, you can just keep watching. Zach plays 17 games in a season. Nine of the games are soccer games and the rest are baseball. How many baseball games does Zach play in one season? What's our biggest number? What's the total? 17. Nine are soccer. So now we need to keep going from that 9 until we get to 17. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. How many baseball games does he play? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So he played 8 baseball games and 9 soccer games for a total of 17. Number four, Jen's class makes a graph about two of their favorite kinds of movies. 
how many students took the survey. So we're going to count the total. So here, I love these are groups of five. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. A total of 19 people took the survey. All right. Let's look on page 374. Number five. Jamie makes a weather graph. He records the weather each day. How many days does, has Jamie recorded the weather? So now we want to just count up the total number of, of days that he recorded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So four were cloudy. One, I'm sorry, were sunny. One, two, three, four, five, six were cloudy. If we add those up, we get our ten. Number six, Ryan asked 20 students which subject is their favorite. He forgot to record responses for the students that chose science. Draw the missing tally marks. Explain how you know you drew the right number. Well, our total is 20. We have to figure out how many votes we have here, and then we can figure out how many we still need to get to 20. So here we had a group of five for reading, five, six, seven, eight for math, and three for social studies. So this is what we have so far. Whatever is missing will get us up to 20. So here we go. We have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 5 plus 8 plus 3 equals 16. So we're going to start at 16 and count up to 20. So there's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. How many more did we need? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that 20 minus the 16 we already had gives us the 4. All right, number 7. Daisy asks nine students if they like cats or dogs better. Four choose cats. The rest choose dogs. How many chose dogs? Well, let's see. We had four cats, right? One, two, three, four. We need to get up to nine. So we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Ooh, not enough, huh? So now seven, eight, nine. So she needed two more dogs to finish that. So how many chose dogs? One, two, three, four, five students. So she just didn't finish drawing in the dogs. All right, here we are just reviewing the graphing information. So go ahead and do uh, the homework and practice pages, 375 and 376. When you're done, turn on the video and then we'll check to see how you did. All right, looking at the top. It says you can use a picture graph to solve problems. Adam asked 13 friends whether they like peanut butter or like butter or jelly on their toast. How many students' responses did, does he have left to record? So he did a total of 13. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here they said we take our 13 minus the eight we have. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We need five more responses to get to that 13. So just not done with the graph yet, huh? Number one says fill in the missing tally marks, then use the chart to solve the problem. Maggie asked 12 members of her family for their favorite kind of cereal. Four people say they like corny cones. The rest say they like great granola. How many people said they like great granola? Well, here's our Big number, 12, that's how many people she asked. We know that four answered corny cones, so we have to start at four and count up to 12. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now this is tricky when you're counting, you kind of have to keep track of your groups of five when you're going through that. Okay, so when I got to my fifth tally mark over here, I made the group. All right, so how many liked great granola? Five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's turn the page. 376. Number two. Lindsay asked 
her friends whether they like recess or gym more. How many friends took the survey? So we just want the total number. How many people did she ask? So we can count with our groups. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So it doesn't really ask us which was more popular. It just wants to know how many people did she ask. Number three, write a problem that can be solved using this picture graph. Here we have flowers in the garden, roses and daisies. Roses and daisies. You can come up with anything. How many more roses, or how many more daisies were there than roses? How many fewer roses than daisies? How many total flowers were in the garden? So lots of different questions that you could ask from this graph. Number four, Miguel asked 16 friends to come to his birthday party. He makes a graph to show who is coming and who is not. How many of Miguel's friends have not responded yet? Write an equation to solve. So he asked 16 people. These are the responses he's gotten so far. So let's see how many people have let him know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he asked 16. He knows that nine have given him an answer. So we take away those nine and whatever's left is how many people he still needs to wait for. So I'm gonna start at nine and count up to 16. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How many people is he still waiting to hear from? Five, six, seven. So we need seven more friends to let him know. All right, please take pictures to send to your teacher and have a great afternoon.